If you want to be successful in business, you have to do whatever it takes. So I want to give a really quick lesson on how we can actually do whatever it takes in our life. You see, a lot of you who are watching me right now, you have dreams, you have aspirations, you have goals that you want to hit, you want to do some great things in life, but a lot of you have not started. And, and the reason for that is this mentality of doing whatever it takes. So I want to tell you a very quick story, very brief story. A lot of people always ask me, John, how did you start in property? How did you buy so many properties? How did you get to where you are in entrepreneurship? And you know, I'm gonna tell you this, I started investing in property very young. I mean, I started educating myself in property you know, at a very young age. And I can tell you that I, I guess I had the advantage of people around me who was able to pass on that education to me. So I just wanted to share some of these mentalities of how do we actually do whatever it takes to achieve what we want in life. So before we do that, I'm gonna give you three steps on how to do that and how I actually did that. And I'm gonna <coughs> tell you how in a very short space of time, I was able to go from working in a job to becoming self-sufficient, to becoming financially free, to now owning multiple seven-figure businesses all around the world. And now, obviously, you know, now I get to travel around the world and I get to you know, make a lot of difference and a big impact in this world. So um, I'm gonna tell you how we do that in a second. So if you've just joined, do me a favor and say hi, and I'm gonna give you a shout out. We've got my brother, Erica Hall. Hey, brother Hall. Thank you for serving others and thank you for making a huge difference to the John Lee Inner Circle members and you've had some amazing feedback. And uh, so thank you for that, I appreciate that. Michelle, Michelle, thank you for um, letting me know what's been happening. Taz, we've got Daniel, uh, we've got Daniel Dan, we've got Yanis. Okay, so let me tell you the first lesson of doing whatever it takes. And when I started in property, I had this belief system of it, 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 it wouldn't work. Like everything I would put my mind to, I would say it, it, it just wouldn't work. And so when I started investing in property, the first thing I would do is I would go to people and I would ask for deals, right? And so I would ask one person and they would say no. I'd ask another person, they would say no. I'd ask another person, they would say no. And every time they would just say no, um, there's no deals. And so doing whatever it takes means you need to ask as many people until you get a yes. I know it sounds really obvious, but I can tell you that there's so many people that don't follow that advice. They give up after two or three or four times. And <clears throat> lesson number one is you have to do it every single time. I mean, I'm not talking about 20 times or 30 times or 50 times. I'm talking about 100 times. And if you agree with this, give me some love hearts and um, give me some thumbs up and type in yes. We got Martin, we got Eve, Sharon, Natalia, Amita. Amita, how you doing? Daniel Sesta, Daniel. Uh, who else we got? We got Elam, Nima, Lucas, Rolf, Taz, Sharon, Anna, Alan, Ip. Hey, Alan, are you still in Hong Kong? We've got Sharon, Alexandra, Ivana, Claudia. Okay, let me go to the second principle. So the first one is you have to keep doing something until you get a yes. And, that, and you've probably heard this before that your yes has to be stronger or bigger than your no. Your yes has to be stronger or bigger than your no. Right? If you agree with that, type in yes. <laughs> Excuse the pun. So that's lesson number one. Okay. Lesson number two of doing whatever it takes. So eventually I found the property deal. I was in a networking event and um, I kept asking everybody and I just happened to find a property deal. One of the first property deals was on the market for 185000 and I, I managed to negotiate it at 85000 So there was £100,000 worth of equity in that deal. So um, the second part of doing whatever it takes, um, when I negotiated the deal, I thought, oh my God, I don't have the money to buy the house. Because when I made the offer of 85,000, I wasn't expecting that person to say yes. So um, lesson two of doing whatever it takes is I had to go and find the money, right? And here's the thing I always say about this, and I don't know if you guys can agree with this, is that when you focus on something, you, a, a, a lot of the times, <clears throat> you attract more of what you don't want. You attract more of what you don't want. So if I just kept focus on like not having any money, right, or not being able to find the money, then what, what happens, right? I don't attract it into my life. So doing whatever it takes means, again, I was asking every single person, every single time about, oh, you know, do you have 85,000? Do you have 85,000? Do you have 85,000? And <clears throat> a lot of the people just kept saying no. So doing whatever it takes is 
going outside your comfort zone. And I remember, because the thing is, even though I was asking people, they, they were saying no to me, but, and I was taking it personally. It's not that they were saying no to me as a person, but they were saying no to the, the, the actual deal, and, and I took it personally. And, and what happened is, when after about five or six people, I started getting really, really um, down. I don't, have you guys experienced this before? Like, you know, let, I don't know if you guys have ever been on a date or you've asked people out and you get a lot of no's and you start feeling down and then, you know, you see someone really attractive and you want to go to that person and you want to uh, ask that person out and you don't and you never know that that person might have said yes but you you didn't even approach that person because you thought she would say no. Has that ever happened to you? If that's ever happened to you, give me a like and give me some love hearts and type in yes. All right. So the same thing happened to me. So if you want to do whatever it takes, you have to get outside of your comfort zone because only things outside of your comfort zone do you start to grow, right? If you agree with that, give me some love hearts. And here's the big problem with this. I think a lot of people, they, they stay inside the comfort zone and they don't get the results because they stay within that realm. And uh, my business partner, Vincent Wong, always says to me, he says, brother, you know, comfort in the comfort zone's a, a beautiful thing, but nothing ever grows there. So it's really, really important that we, like, number one, remember, step number one of doing, if you've just joined, by the way, say hi. Step number one of doing whatever it takes is you keep asking, asking, asking until you get a yes. Step number two is you have to get outside your comfort zone to do whatever it takes. Otherwise, nothing happens. And the third, the third thing, this was, this was crazy for me. Um, all my friends around me, when I told them that I'd bought a property for 85000 and it was worth 185000 a lot of them... For me, didn't they they, 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 they? they thought it was too good to be true. They said, "Oh, there must be something wrong with it." Or they, you know, if you've bought it, then there's there's got to be like, there's some, there must be some kind of challenge or problem or scam with that property. And you know, there's a lot of negative beliefs around that. And unfortunately, um, it, it, it affected me. Right. So, you know, did I <coughs> did I do whatever it it took and, and, and what what I found is I, I hung around a lot of people who every single time they would just keep putting me down and they'd be having negative thoughts and they'd be saying things that would make me think twice. Has if this have you can you guys relate to this? If you're watching me right now, give me a thumbs up, give me some love arts and type in yes. And I'll tell you the third part in a second. So we've got Melissa. Hey Melissa, how you doing? We've got Ali, we've got Jade, Ruth, we've got John. Uh Claudia happened uh, happened in business. We've got uh, Cecilia, Cheryl, we've got Charles, thank you. We've got uh, Imraj, Nima, we've got Makey. Hey Makey, how you doing? <laughs> Makey says rejection has a number. Awesome. Taz, uh, it's when you at least expect what happens today. Absolutely. Okay. So on this last lesson, I had to learn this the hard way. And this is probably the hardest lesson to do whatever it takes because it requires a lot of courage. And I have to tell you this. Uh, when you can do this, your life will grow in ways that you'll never expect. Uh, things will start to attract your life. And what you'll find is you, you, you'll find that, that the whole environment will, will, will actually start to change. So, by the way, some of you are asking me where I am. I'll, let me show you the view. Do you, do you guys like the view? If you like the view, give me some love hearts. We're in Cyprus at the moment. We just finished a uh, entrepreneur boot camp here. It was amazing. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. I love this. Okay. You guys ready for step number three of doing whatever it takes? If you're ready for step number three, type in yes and hit enter. Comment yes and hit enter. Oh, this is a beautiful hotel, by the way. It's beautiful. Okay. So, you ready for... Step number three, if you're ready, type in yes. Okay, here we go. Step number three, and this is how I figured this out. Um, sometimes you have to let go of things in your life, right? There's a lot of people that hang on to things in life that are actually not doing them the best service. In fact, it's disempowering them. So if you want to do whatever it takes, you have to let go of something that you're holding on to. Right, because the reason why you're not doing whatever it takes is because you're holding on to this one thing that's stopping you from getting to the next step. Um, a, a good friend of mine, and I mean her name is uh, Sharon. She's she's also the 
um, co-author of this book called Rich Dad. And uh, she said to me, and we were having a conversation, and she said, John, you know, a lot of times when people don't succeed in their life is because they've got one door open and they've got the other door open. And what you have to do is you have to close one door first in order for you to have the next door open. And, and, and it's true. Now, I, I, th this has happened a, a lot in my life when I see a lot of people, they, they, they're trying to do two or three things and, and they, they don't have that courage to let go of something. I mean, it happens a lot in relationships. There's so many people in relationships right now that are not really serving them, but they're staying in that relationship because it's comfortable. Remember, the three steps, if you've just joined, the three steps to doing whatever it takes, number one, you keep going until you get a yes. Yes is going to be bigger than the no, right? And, and I have to tell you, every time you can let go of something, and, and sometimes when you let go of something, it can hurt, right? It can hurt. Um, but when you combine all three of these together, you know, number two, if you, if you, you know, get that courage, right? You have the courage to move on. And, you know, step three is, is just focus on that end result. Right? Because the end result is what that matters. A lot of the people keep saying to me, oh, John, you know, I can't do this because of this. I can't do that because of that. That's nonsense. You can do this. You can do anything you want in life. You know, who'd have thought that a man could go on the moon? Right? Who'd have thought that you've got these pieces of metal that fly in the air from thousands of miles? Who'd have thought that one day you would be watching me from a mobile phone? Right? You've got to innovate. But to do that, you have to do whatever it takes. Do me a favor, guys. I want you to type it in for me. I want you to type in, do whatever it takes. And the reason for that is this, is that when you write something down, right, you internalize it in your brain. Right? When you write something down, you internalize it, and it gets into your subconscious. Right? So I want you to write it down. <coughs> Excuse me. I want you to type it in, and it enter, hit enter, do whatever it takes. We've got Pavlina Pavaloka. Hey, Pavlina. Pavlina's awesome. She's done an amazing job here in Cyprus, by the way. And um, the next up and coming entrepreneur that's going to empower a lot of female entrepreneurs. We've got Rolf, we've got Meiki, we've got Cheryl, we've got uh, Yanis. Oh, there she is. How are you doing? Come and say hi. Come and say hi. Hi, this everyone. Is, this, is, this is Pavlina Pavloka, by the way, um, celebrity here out in, in Cyprus. Hello. We were just talking about doing, doing whatever it takes. Of course. And um, I, I just gave him three steps on that. Yes, and, and that's what I do whenever John tells me to do something. Because really, whenever John tells me to do something, and he has so much experience and he understands how things work. And whenever I have done what John told me, it has worked in my, in my life and I have amazing results. So whenever John says, do this, I do whatever it takes. And maybe that's why he works with me, because that's what I have always done. <laughs> so do whatever it takes, guys. And, uh, and listen to Mr. Lee here. He's the best. He's the best. I'm so lucky to have him as a, oh. as a mentor and a business partner here in Cyprus. And thank you to everyone who was at this weekend at the event, all the messages we're receiving, all the amazing energy. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. If you love that, give some love hearts and some <laughs> likes. Awesome. So who's who have we got here? We've got Chris, we've got Nima, you know, Natalia, Anna, Ho, Andrew, Cheryl, Meiki, um, Sharon, Daniel Sesta, uh, Michelle Lowe, uh, Kalamakas, if I, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, Chris. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. And um, I know a lot of you have been asking me, John, how come you've like, not been doing your Facebook Lives recently? Um, well, I've just been really, really busy. And um, you know, it's, it's been really, really busy coming towards the end of the year. I'm, I'm getting prepared now for World Class Speaker Mastery where I'm going to be flying to um, Bali. I don't know if any of you are going to be there, but yeah, it's going to be amazing there. I'm training the, the next generation of speakers and thought leaders to really get their message out there to the world. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. And by the way, if you're loving this stuff, um, I want to thank all you guys for watching this because the reason why I do these is because you spend the time, you know, during the day. I don't know if you guys are supposed to be working now, but you're watching this. So I want to thank you for coming on. Um, but if you haven't done so already, uh, add me to Instagram. Uh, just type in John Lee Official. Add me to uh, Snapchat, John Lee WD. Add me to Twitter and um, go to my Facebook group because I, I upload a lot of this stuff there as well so and also as well um, if you want to give me some subjects on what you want me to do Facebook lives on then let me know just type it in right now like if I was to run a Facebook live session 
what topics or subjects would you like to know about? You know, some people say property investing, some people it's like mindset, some people it's, um, you know, how do you get more time? Some people it's about, you know, how do I increase my salary or how do I increase my net worth? Whatever it is, just type it in for me. And if you love the stuff, that, the work that I do, then do me a favor and uh, share this with people because my mission is to empower a lot of people around the world and uh, so people can really start achieving uh, their, their full potential. So thanks for watching. This is John Lee, the author of The Wealth Dragon Way, coming to you live here from Cyprus. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.